Hello mate, it is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another face cam video, if this goes up, because I've done lots of face cam videos in the past, which I haven't actually uploaded for reasons, um, and yeah, that's about it, I'm not, I, I'd rather not share the reasons, it's nothing, it's nothing personal or anything just like that, it's just that sometimes I feel like, uh, this was not good, or the quality was just so really, really bad and whatnot, and, uh, yeah, also, my settings were reset. I, I, um, I don't know. How does this look? How fast is this? Is it slow? Is it fast? Is the volume too high, too low? I don't know. I'll have to, uh, I'll probably fix it in, like, um, my editing software. So, might today, I am talking to you guys legitimately, like, face-to-face. Um, ish, I don't know. Hello, if you if you see me or not, or if you're watching this, I don't really know. Anyway, um, enough babbling, um, blabbling around. Um, I need to talk to you guys. So, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So, uh, well, actually, you probably already see the title of the video. Well, first, um, I will, if you wanna, I'll probably put in the link in the description. Um, well, not a link, I'll probably just put the time um, frame. So, time frame down there in the link or the description. I always say link in the description because everybody says that. In the description, there will be two times. Well, I guess it'll just be one. At the start of the video, I'll probably just put it like 000 to this. That will be the unboxing. The second part will be to you guys. So if you guys want to see all of it, just see the whole video. If you want to see half of it, um, well, the main half that you guys want, that most of you came for probably, then you can go ahead. So the first part, we are going to be doing unboxing. So, um, yeah, fortunately... We have to say, rest in peace to my Elgato. <laughs> now, I did a video way back on the channel. You might be able to find it if you if you type it in. Um, it was basically a comparison with the Elgato HD that I never unboxed on camera, I think. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm not really sure. Because I think I got the Elgato, then I got this camera. And um, instead of buying a new Elgato, like the, the square Lego one, the square rectangle that looks really shiny, I bought the HD60, and I compa and I unboxed the HD60, and I did a comparison video. Now, this video is not going to be a comparison because my HD60 is still hooked up because it's not re recording at all. I did as much as I could. I reset the Xbox PC. Um, I even like um, made sure the TV wasn't wonky. It's nothing with the anything I'm having. I even downloaded um, older versions of the software that Elgato has with game capture and sound capture. It's just the card's not working. I can still watch TV when it's plugged in with my PC and TV and the Xbox, but it's just not working recording anymore. It, it just doesn't detect it. So instead of getting another HD60, which I was thinking about, I got. HD 60s. Now, this is not promotion. This is not sponsored or anything. I got this at um, Best Buy basically for a really, really good deal, and it was ready in an hour. Like, um, I picked this up yesterday as I'm recording this, which um, today is the 29th of December 2018. If you're watching this, um, although I'm pretty sure this comes basically um, December 29th 2018. Um, that's the day I'm recording this. I got this yesterday on the 28th and the day before that I purchased it on Best Buy around uh, 7 8 o'clock ish I want to say 7 8 o'clock ish and it was 130 so that was a really good price because back then I've got us for like always 200 around 200 and on Amazon it's still a couple but for the HD 60 S um, basically, I have to say, I'm impressed. I have not tried this out. It's still in the box, because obviously it's an unboxing. Now, when I saw the HD60 compared to the old one, I was just blown away, because the old one didn't work for that. It worked for about a year, and this one's worked for about over, um, a year and a half at this point. I think it's about two years. I can't exactly remember. Also, sorry about the glare in my eyes. Um, but yes, the HD60S right there. Here's the box. Here's the back. And basically, compared to the other ones, I was thinking about actually buying the HD60, the original, so sorry about the lighting, um, the HD60 again, just to see, but I was a little bit scared, because what happens if the Elgato software recognizes it, and it's not going to work? I doubted it, but just more precaution. Basically, online on uh, Amazon, which is where I usually shop at, online. Basically, everything I, I've been ordering, I can't really pay for that much ordering because I use um, Amazon and Amazon Prime, and I'm not I'm not the biggest, like, I, I don't go into all the details with you guys because that's kind of boring. But basically, it just didn't work. It, it, the shippings were just crazy. It always got delayed. Um, and it was just, it was just um, I, I didn't want to go through that. So I was lucky enough to find this one hour ready, pretty close around the area I live, and I was able to get this. So, 
right now it says it captures 1080p 60 frames per second capture which is possible on the uh the um hd60 the regular one it's a usb 3.0 i don't know if that means it can use 2.0 and 3.0 the old one the hd60 used 2.0 as well as the hd also the hd the the first one the one that's more like a block shape and not as round that only did to um 720p at 60 frames per second it was able to do 1080 but i'm not sure i think it was only 1080p 30 frames per second this is also gate instant game view now one thing i never had a problem with this and i always thought it was broken when i first got into gaming and with the elgato it was always slow like when i did something on the tv which is um i'm, I'm looking this way because that's my tv right there basically whenever i did that it would just go like slow like my software i'm using this which is uh, the logitech nothing to do with it it's instant hello hello myself and basically it's instant like when i raise up it's you could probably say it's a little bit slow but to me it seems fine now with this one and the hd and the hd 60s i mean hd and the hd 60 both had it slow and that's normal that's normal for any new elgato users out there in the future basically that's normal. This one, on the other hand, says instant game view right there. As you can see, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just a beauty right there? Isn't that just a beauty? Also, this can stream and record instantly, which is great. I'm not sure if the HD or HD 60S actually could have streamed. I know it could have recorded. I think the HD could have streamed, actually. But uh, I'm um, any HD 60, but I'm not sure at all. So, now, that's practically all the specs. Let's get into it. You can just slide it out like usual. There we go. There's the box once more. You, it's, also got, um, it's also got all the specs and whatnot if you want to um, look. Right there. Uh, let's see. It's got Mac and the graphics cards, everything that you need. And let's get into it right now. There it is, mods. There it is. It even comes with a little box right there. I have actually kept all my boxes in a cabinet that's attached to my uh, my desk because I have this like whole L-shaped desk or anything with a little cabinet, and that's actually where I keep it. And just pop it out, and it's 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 roughly similar. I I pretty sure it's the exact same size as the other one. It's HD60. It's just got an S on it. Um, let's see. Anything else? Okay, oh gaming, of course. I'll put that. Uh, I'll put that right here on my mouse pad because it is pretty big. It's an Elgato mouse pad, actually, which I did an unboxing of too, but I never released it. Let's see. Also, it does show you the minute you take it out, right there. Audio, HDMI in, out, HDMI, USB, um, download, and all right. So it does even provide the link. And here are all of the wires. There we go. Oop. Oh wait, 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 wait. We got something a little bit new. You got a sticker. That is great. I'm. I know it's a little weird, but I'm always just a big fan of like logos, stickers, and whatnot. Like if I had a giant Xbox One logo, like just the X of the Xbox One logo, I and I put down my wall. I would just. I don't know why. I'd just go so crazy. But this, I'll probably put this like on my um my desk somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. And here we are. The two wires. You got um. Now you're supposed to get you have the the console wire obviously which is the HDMI for your console to the TV, and there we go we got the HDMI wire right here, and we have the um, this is let me see this is supposed to be this is um all right sorry the the wire is just a little bit different because every few years or whatnot they actually do or in, in different countries I'm guessing like on certain unboxings. Um, they are actually different wires, um, at least um, including HDMI and the USB. They're both usually different. But here we are, USB right there. So you do get two. All right, and yeah, that's about it. Just a little bit of references in the box. Yep, USB 3.0 cable, HDMI wire, and that's about it. That's unboxing number one. Unboxing number two. This is not. This is another microphone I'm unboxing. Not sponsored or anything. None of these unboxings I've ever done are sponsored or I'm paid to do anyway. I just love doing this. And focus, camera. Better focus. There we go. All right. Oh, you can see Freddy back there. Hello, Freddy. Hello. Uh, yeah. So this is not a new microphone I'm planning to use for myself. And oops, sorry. Screen got dark. Also, I never showed you my mouse. Look at the car. 
<laughs> uh, I just I just found this one day when I was shopping for a whole new mouse because I gave my old one because I didn't really like it with my whole setup anymore because I got a whole new keyboard and whatnot. And basically, I was like, "This is so cool!" I just had to. I just was. I was just so curious. I would have gotten a regular mouse, but it was pretty cheap and it does run on just regular batteries. It's not connected or anything. That's the downside. Ugh. Anyway, so yep, this is called. The Samsung Q2U um, recording and podcasting USB microphone. Now, it is USB and XLR dynamic. Uh, let's see, it's, yep, podcasting, live sound, music recording, titanium black, this version is. And it's connected to via USB computers and tablets. So there we go, Mike. There's the whole box right there. And here's the back of it. Comes with all of that. Now, I don't remember what I paid for for this bundle, actually, because I got a bundle on this, obviously, well, for everything. But I think it was about $60, $70, something like that. But it does have a mic clip, a, wi a windscreen, a tripod stand, XLR cable. It can use all of that. So, it, it is pretty good. It's pretty good. So, that way, if you want to... Also, I do have a mixer, but this is not going to be for me. I'm still using my Rode NT-USB, which is right here. There we go. Uh, sorry if the audio got a little bit weird right there, if it went high or low. But yeah, that's it right there. So let's get into the unboxing really quickly. Now, um, the problem is when you're trying to do videos with other people, like um, let's say I'm doing a video with Soul Taker or somebody else. But let's just go for Soul Taker right now. Um, oh, by the way, Mike, if you're watching this, hello. Hello, Soul Taker. Um, basically, um, usually when you plug in multiple USB mics in the same computer, it's, it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work at all. I tried it a couple times, and I just couldn't really get it. There is a couple different setups and whatnot about it. By the way, I'm ripping the box just because I'm getting really annoyed as I'm talking. But, uh, it's not gonna work. That's why most people usually have a mixer which is basically a thing to put the LXR cables into it. And I have a mixer that was, um, it was pretty cheap, actually, because a lot of mixers are really, really expensive, depending on how advanced they are, how small they are, if they're portable, how big they are. I got this one for, I don't even actually remember, honestly. But um, it has four XLR imports and a couple other ones that aren't XLR cables, but they are other cables. But I'm just going to focus on the XLR because I'm better with that. And I do have one right there with a lot of wires that I'm not going to bother showing you because it's way too much um, to go into depth. But one day I promise I will. Or if, I, if you don't want, eh, it's alright. I'll just show you in like a room tour. I am planning in 2019. I know I've been saying it for a while, but I was like thinking, oh my god. You know what? After these few days, I got to also, as you can see, my room's a little crazy. Like I got uh, my, I got a mini fridge actually. Someone gave me that. It was used. But um... It was, I mean, it was bought and used for a little bit, but then the, the guy didn't want it, so someone just gave it to me, and I appreciate it. Although, it's not really mini, it's more like, it's more like a medium, medium-sized mini fridge, if you ask me. But, um, anyway, basically, as you might see a little bit, the room's, uh, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not unclean. It's just that, mostly on that area over there, um, it's just more stuff on the floor, like posters, Books, paper, um, stuff like that. I just gotta get the whole room set up. Now, here we are. I just um, you basically get the box. You can um, you basically take the whole box cover off. You just get some cardboard. You plonk it out right there, which is um, covered in this, right there. And it's pretty good. It's got a nice weight to it. So it's basically like um, the stage mice that you actually use like when you're performing sing live or seeing other people undo it. Got a little switch on and off. There we go. And Q2U USB, there we are. And now on the bottom right there, that's what it is. The USB, which is, it's not a USB wire, the one where my finger is on the bottom. That's connected to it. And the XLR is the one that looks like that. All right, so I'll put this right here. All right, so you take that out. There we go. Got the mic clip. And you got the, um, got the little foam thing um what's this called again um pop filter i think i remember recalling it it's been so long because i i always just i don't have i don't have the the circle one that you can always take on and off i just have the one that i i just it just came with for my mic right there so you can just pluck that off and right here we got the little tripod stand and bubble wrap uh, actually i'm not sure if you guys got a good look at that so really quickly yeah there we go three legs good good amount good amount of legs 
well, I guess two in this case, but you, you know what I mean. All right, I'll just put that right there on the side. All right, all right, you know what, I'll just um, take that down, actually. Just throw it on the floor. All right. Now, here you go, you got the wire, which is, um, don't know what this is. It's usually, like, in little, f in phones, I think, in the, like, old Samsung models I used to see. And, um, USB, there we go, little mic port. And in here, here is what the XLR wire actually looks like, if most of you don't even know. Right there. And just ignore the little bit of plastic that just fell off. Right? And, for you kids out there, or pets, I guess, or babies, you get some bubble wrap. You get loads of bubble wrap. You get, um, like, two or three, um, things of bubble wrap. So, have fun with that. Anyway, there we go. That is what it looks like. There's the out. There's the in. Right there. All right, so ah, uh, sorry, focus. Ah, uh, it's just because it, the lighting is changing because I don't, I don't have a a YouTuber light that goes in the back. I don't. So yeah, that's why it might, it might go in and out, in and out. But um, I like it for now. I might actually move it because I do have this lamp right here, which is this skinny long blue thing. But it doesn't quite go. It can't really fit right there or in front of me at all because this desk is pretty um pretty like um standard l shape in the corner of the room because my room's like a box it's it's a square sh shape basically but um yeah i think that's about it i really want to unbox today lights well, honestly um just basically the other equipment and whatnot so <coughs> oh god <coughs> sorry about that Ugh, i don't know where that came from anyway but mites basically this is gonna be part two right now i'm not gonna cut or anything just gonna continue basically right now so yeah to any of you who just skipped to the skip to the head if i put the time thing in the description hello hello um uh, thank you for joining the video right now now i got a couple questions for you guys now i'm just gonna move my um little thing right there my little um my little um the, the thing i'm recording on the the software now might i want to record computer games for quite a while and if you see my first few attempts like final to freddy's and benny and ink machine it, at first it starts good, but then you might notice that the audio in the game isn't really syncing up. And that's because the programs I've used, they're not that great. They regret at first, but they're not. I'm not going to mention them because I don't want to have any ha haters or riot at them exactly. But um, basically, just um, sum it all up, they weren't good for me. They weren't good for me. But that's where I hope you guys can help me. I've been doing some research, and I have four right now. I haven't bought them anything because I don't want to spend money. Um, not, to, not to be a jerk or anything or saying I'm broke. It's just that I don't feel like spending money for softwares that I personally don't know really too much about. Now, some um, some games I am planning on playing on a computer, or Windows 10 in this case, because that's a computer I do have, is Ben Unique Machine, Ultimate Custom Night, um, well, like FNAF 1 through 6, which is including FNAF World plus Ultimate Custom Night. And Minecraft. I am planning on using mods, hopefully, in my Minecraft series eventually. Not because um, cause I, I always play on consoles like Xbox One, Xbox One and Edition, like I still have that. And the um, Xbox One version of the new Minecraft. And I have the new Minecraft with all the mods ready to go. Every now and then I just make some ideas and I do it like that, like in a sketchbook world. But I have so far four game, uh, four recorders. Now, the first one is Fraps. I've only, I've seen one, like most, I haven't seen like, um, I've only distinguished Fraps for one, one YouTuber by the name of Popular MMOs, which I have subscribed to on my, um, my main channel. And I've only able to see that because on the top left, you can see like the, the little like, um, f um, the little like, um, numbers on the frames per second. That's what Fraps, that's where the name Fraps comes from frame per second and I don't know what the AP stands for but meh. the second one is Bandicam now I hear a lot of people say Bandicam is better than Fraps overall and I have I have seen the evidence software wise and I am leaning towards Bandicam just because of, of where it's from but Mike the thing is when I see videos on Minecraft I'm um, racing I'm um, racing games and um uh that's about it from for most of them because I um and I they haven't seen anybody use it on Final Fantasy Freddy's, or at least told me yet. I've seen different games, Minecraft and um, um, Forza. And the performance on, like, side-by-side, -side or, like, um, first it'll show you a little bit of, of the whole thing recorded. Then it'll show you again, but instead of Fraps, it'll be Bandicam. Basically, Fraps just looks a lot more smoother and a lot better. So, 
While I have seen it on the research, so research side and the um, information side, Bandicam looks good. On most videos, uh, on the comparison scale, I just, I just haven't seen any problems. It looks like Fraps is a lot better. And trust me, I would love to do, and, pro and trust me, it's like, um, I can do, uh, basically, the way I used to do FNAF videos, like, I think the first one I might have done, which I think is still the only one on my channel so far, basically, I, I, just two ways. One, my recording software can have, um, it can have, um, like, a, a, a feature where I can use my webcam in it. And that would be really great where I can switch it from like um, the middle to the left corner to the right corner and set etc 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 or I could just do like um the actual gameplay and Logitech um, software and I could just overlay that which I have done which I have done and trust me I will do editing as much as, as I can and don't worry trust me I just want you guys to know I it doesn't matter all about the face cam or seeing me it's about the video quality and for you guys I want to know what is better, Fraps or Bandicam? I want to know. Now, there's two other options I have tried, and they look promising. It's um, FBX slash Flashback Express Game Recorder and XSplit Gamecaster or um, the Streamcaster, I think it's called. And I don't know really too much about it, but from what I've seen on the on the demos and whatnot, on the free versions, it looks promising. So if those two or any one of those are better, I might just purchase it. Um, it's, um, I'm still a little bit on the exploit because it's um, it's monthly, but I can I can make I can arrange that I can make that work. But um, I would just like to know Fraps or Bandicam, and um, if those aren't any good and the other two you think are better, then um, send me a link on a video on a comment maybe, and uh, I might just give it some thought. And um, yeah, that's about it. So also before I go, since we are reaching the near the end of the video. I want to ask you, for the past few years I've been doing YouTube, I've always said I am going to do a live stream. And I have not. I have not done a live stream giveaway. And I am very sorry about that, but the problem is, I've just been so busy and so stressed over so many things that I haven't. But now that my mom's, my mind's clearer, uh, everything's been going smoothly a lot more, I think I'm ready to... The room tour is coming in 2019. Early 2019. I can't say a full date because I don't know when, but I promise you it will be early 2019, which means that it will be before June. It will be before June, um, hopefully before April in the first four months, um, just, just just what I think I classified as early. But basically, what should I do? Because I have all these things, basically a little present I got from somebody was a lot of these stickers. Rick and Morty stickers, and there are so many Rick and Morty stickers, like you got their faces right there, got things like that. I could get like fidget spinners if people still like that thing, I don't know, I'm, st I'm gonna, I might keep some of these or whatnot. And I do, even if you don't like that, I do have these, which is like full, pr um, full detail multi thing stickers, like on the back too, you got this one. And you got that one, which you can actually color in and whatnot, I just like things like that. Or I can get like video game stickers like right there. I just ordered these two to see how they were. A little smaller than I expected from Bendy Ink Machine. But you know what? I love them. Especially the bacon soup. And I do love little Bendy right here. Little Devil Darling and whatnot. Or I can get some posters. So that's what I'm thinking of right now. Or something like that. Or I can do a console giveaway. I'm thinking about doing that at 100, 200, um, well probably not 200. 100, 500, or 1000. I'm thinking of that. Because the thing is, I want the fan base of this channel to grow before I really do something big like a console or a computer or something like that. Which I will plan someday, just not any time soon. So just let me know. Would you want um, posters? Would you like stickers? Would you like little fidget spinners? I don't know why people like that, but eh. I don't judge people. I don't judge people at all. But um, just let me know what kind of giveaway would you guys love to see. I, this channel is not just about me. It's about all of us together to grow this place, to grow this channel as big as we can. But, Moitz, that's about all I can really say, honestly. So, yeah, sorry about the glare on my glasses. It's just, um, that's just the way it has to be. I don't like contacts that much for some reason. I don't know why. It just makes me feel a little weird. Plus, I, I feel like I look better in glasses, honestly. I don't know. But, anyways, Moitz, that's the end of the video. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. Please, give me any suggestions. 
whether and whether or not you like the the box the unboxing but um um which is don't forget just leave any any comments or suggestions like what's better xplit fbx bandcam frat and what kind of live stream giveaway would you guys like to see and who knows maybe maybe the live stream could be incorporated with this like which software do you think will do the best recording and live stream and what and after that what can we give away but anyway, small that's the end of the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe. And yes, I will see you all later. Later, guys.